Uh, Dr. San Chan Yu is a medical doctor who majored in internal medicine at Severance Hospital, Korea. He received his master's in medical science at the same university. Currently, he's a PhD candidate for the Department of Biomedical Informatics, Azure University. In 2016, he joined the Odyssey community and started research in the network. He received the Best Community Contribution Award for Clinical Evidence Generation at the 2017 Odyssey Symposium uh, by comparative research of antihypertensive treatments in real world settings. In 2018, he released a clinically informed package based on recurrent neural networks, which is open source software for predicting clinical outcomes in the Odyssey tool ecosystem based on deep learning. Currently, he works for integrating clinical data with radiologic, genomic, environmental, and free text data based on the OMOP CDM. Thank you for your introduction. <clears throat> hey everyone, I'm gonna talk about the net clinical benefit of TACO compared to clopidogrel in patients with ACS following PTCI. This disclosure. The history of uh, dual antiplatelet therapy in patients with uh, coronary artery disease is not so long. So it started uh, from 1998, and about 10 years later, a plateau trial uh, demonstrated the superiority of ticagrel over clopidogrel, and it changes the paradigm of depth. So plateau trial demonstrated that it decreased uh, its primary endpoint, which was uh, vascular death, myocardial infarction, and stroke. But it shows that it increased the risk of the fatal intracranial uh, bleeding and uh, non-capture related major and minor bleeding, and in, it increased the uh, risk of dyspnea too. Current uh, guideline of uh, United States and Europe uh, recommended uh, Tigerol over clopidogrel in patients with ACS solely based on plateau trial. You know what? Uh, plateau trial did not demonstrate superiority of tigerol in North America and Asia. And if you see, see this, uh, the risk est estimate in North America, uh, North America actually towards the harm of tigerol rather than uh, benefit. So my co objective was to compare the risk of a net cl adverse clinical event, NACE, between tigerol and clopidogrel in patients with ACS following PCI through Odyssey network. We included those who initiated tigerol or clopidogrel to do uh, ACS and undertook a PCI. And we excluded those who had a history of stroke or dry bleedings and who used uh, prostrogrel or opposing drugs within previous 30 days from PCI. Uh, the primary endpoint was composite, uh, composite endpoint of net adverse clinical events, uh, which composed of recurrent MI and revascularization, ischemic stroke, intracranial hemorrhage, or dry bleedings. All of these uh, individual outcomes served as a uh, secondary endpoint, and I added over, overall death and dyspnea as a positive control. Uh, we compared the risk of the one-year uh, NACE after the PCI by using one-to-one -one PS matching and unconditioned Cox regression. Uh, for the sensitivity analysis, I added two different time windows and three different uh, statistical analysis. I, and to assess to the about uh, SS uh, system errors, I added 96 negative controls. We used three different databases in the Nazi network, two from US, uh, which both of them are EHR, very large scale, and uh, one from Korea. Uh, we converted the whole national uh, patients uh, who undertake PCI uh, into a MOP CDM. And you can see that the proportion of Tycarol user among the whole study population is increasing in both countries. And uh, in 2016, it's over 30%. And uh, at 2018, it was over 40%. And you can see that the adherence of the Tycarol is much lower than clopidogrel. The median days was uh, 132 for Tycarol and 232 for clopidogrel. You can see how well our covariance, uh, how well balanced uh, our covariance uh, after matching. More than uh, we use more than ten thousand covariance in each database, and <clears throat> you can see more than ninety percent of negative controls were, were not associated with the Tycho or Clopidogrel. This is our primary endpoint, one-year NACE. It was not different between uh, Tycho and Clopidogrel in three uh, each uh, in three databases and in meta-analysis too. And it was very consistent among the across the databases and across the sensitivity analysis by using different time windows and different statistical analysis. 
Uh, I know it is very small to see, so there is a posture uh, over there, so you can see the uh, results in the posture system. And uh, we found that uh, the hemorrhagic events and this near risk was increased in Tiger uh, group, and it seems that ischemic stroke and uh, hemorrhagic stroke uh, was related with the Tiger but uh, it doesn't meet the statistical significance. So if you, if you want to see the whole study results, please open your laptop or your cell phone and go to the data.rc.org and find the Tiger versus Club Jogel, then you can see the whole study pop, uh, results or I will be there for uh, near my posture. So in summary, uh, there is no significant difference in one year in age uh, between Tycoval and the club trial users with ACES following PCI. And this finding was very uh, uh, consistent across the databases and across the sensitivity analysis. And Tycoval was associated with a higher risk of hemorrhage events and dyspnea. Thank you for your time.